Alright, hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Himanshu and we are continuing our Lightning Web Components Masterclass. In the previous tutorial, I talked about the introduction of Lightning Web Components and now I want to take a step ahead and talk about how does LWC, we will use LWC a bit more because it is shorter and easy to say, how does it fit in the Salesforce picture, right? So Salesforce is heavily investing in LWC making it the framework for all the custom lightning development that you're going to do in future for Salesforce. All right. So everything that is currently set up in Aura or has been done in Aura ideally will be migrated or moved to lightning web components. So if you have noticed the current ecosystem or the Salesforce ecosystem, I'll not show you the Salesforce screens for now, but just talking about it. If you notice, you had a classic view first, which was built on top of visual force and apex right and now you have a lightning view which is built of aura right now what salesforce is doing on the platform level is they are also migrating all their aura components to lightning web components because they want to reach into this uh, modern web standard framework so all the things that are written in aura from the on the platform level are also getting migrated to lightning web components which is lwc Similarly, if you are working for a business or you're working for your own project where you are using Aura components, you have to actually move to Lightning Web Components. You'll have to migrate yourself, you have to migrate your code base, you'll have to migrate your business use cases to Lightning Web Components. All right. And why is this happening? Because again, it's, it's something, a direction from Salesforce and you have to actually migrate because Aura is no longer getting upgraded. Lightning Web Components is getting upgraded. Okay, now how does it really fit in terms of other capabilities? So you have native browser capabilities with LWC. I think I already talked about it in one of the previous advantage videos. You get better latency, reduced latency, better caching mechanism, good re-rendering and a lot of optimization is available through native browser capabilities. Okay, accessing the shadow DOM or any, any kind of optimization is natively available. When I say natively available, it means you can leverage what's already available. So it kind of gives you an extra advantage. All right. Now, another point is since this uses standard web technologies, what are those standard web technologies, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. So it makes it very easier for new developers to get started. So it's not like, oh my God, I have to, you know, learn from scratch and it will take me six months to be onboarded into this technology. No, nothing like that. You can actually get familiar very quickly. You can, if you, if you know a bit of the modern frame, uh, web frameworks from your college life, even that is good enough to get you started. All right. And one more thing, if you write a particular component or you create a lightning component once, you can actually use it anywhere, wherever you need to have that component. And that is how the model works in LWC. Okay. So it's more like the write once and use anywhere model. So that's how, you know, LWC fits in the Salesforce picture. So just keep in mind that anything that's currently set up in Aura from Salesforce also is also getting migrated to Lightning Web Components. If you read their release notes, if you read the release notes, you'll see that, okay, they have migrated these certain items to Lightning Web Components. This is in their pipeline and all of that stuff. Okay, so this is the next big thing. This is something that they are invested in. So we have to invest our time and energy to learn the skill and actually get onboarded. All right. So that's how Salesforce fits. I mean, that's how LWC fits in the Salesforce picture and probably your picture and my picture also. All right. Great. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.